Question number one. What are the most important safety precautions to consider when performing welding tasks? Answer. The safety of the welding process is of utmost importance. Some key safety precautions include wearing appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, such as welding helmets, gloves, and clothing, ensuring proper ventilation in the welding area, using fire-resistant materials, and following proper electrical safety procedures. Additionally, it is essential to inspect and maintain welding equipment regularly to prevent accidents. Question number two, how do you handle welding defects or imperfections, and what steps do you take to avoid them? Answer. As a skilled welder, I understand that welding defects can compromise the integrity and quality of the weld. To handle defects, I thoroughly inspect the completed welds using visual and non-destructive testing methods. If defects are identified, I follow proper procedures for repair or removal. To prevent defects, I pay close attention to proper welding techniques maintain a clean work environment, ensure correct joint preparation, use appropriate welding parameters, and select the right welding consumables. Question number three, what are the key differences between MIG, DIG, and stick welding techniques, and when would you use each of them? Answer. MIG, metal inert gas, welding uses a consumable wire electrode and shielding gas, suitable for fast production welding. DIG, Tungsten inert gas, welding uses a non-consumable tungsten electrode and inert gas, providing precise control for high-quality welds. Stick welding, or shielded metal arc welding, SMAW, uses a consumable electrode coated in flux, providing versatility and ease of use in various environments. The choice depends on factors such as the type of metal, joint design, required weld quality, and the specific application. Question number 4. How do you ensure proper weld quality and adherence to specifications? Answer. To ensure proper weld quality, I follow established welding procedures and codes, paying attention to the specified welding parameters, including voltage, current, travel speed, and preheat slash post heat requirements. I carefully inspect the materials and joint preparations, monitor the welding process in real time, and perform visual inspections and non-destructive testing as needed. Additionally, I maintain detailed records of weld inspections, including welder qualifications and relevant documentation.